Donna Arena 2000 firmware update. I've made two previous videos using this pedal. The first one was the unboxing and review, and the second one was just going through all the drum patterns on the pedal. I'll put links to both of those videos down below in the description. This video is to answer some of the questions that I received in the previous two videos. Right, let's get on with it. How to find out what version of firmware is currently installed on your Arena 2000. The first way and most obvious way is that it's displayed on the screen when you turn on the pedal and it's at the bottom of the screen in green letters. If you miss it when you first turn the pedal on, you can also find it by going to System and then scroll across to Info and it'll tell you there what version of firmware you've got on the pedal. If you use the free app, which is available on Android and iPhone, you can also find it by going into the settings and then scroll down to the HW version or hardware version. You can also find out what version of the firmware you've got using the Donna control program, which is free for both PC and Mac. And because I'll be using this to update the firmware, I'll go through the complete process of downloading, installing and using this software. The first thing I'll do is look for Donna Music so I can find their website. And once I'm on their website, I'll look for the page for the Arena 2000 Guitar Multi Effects. And once I'm on this page, I'll find any references to the software that I'm looking for, which is the Donna Control. And scrolling down the page, I've not only found the download for the controller software, but I've also found the download for the user manual. So I might as well create an Arena 2000 folder on my computer and download everything whilst I'm here. Unlike the user manual, the link to the controller software is actually to a download page for all their products. And looking at the domain name at the top of the page, this is obviously an international one because it's a .com. So I'll put that link down below in the description and here at the bottom of the video to save you some time. Because you can jump all the previous steps to this step where you can find the controller for both PC and Mac. And actually it's even got the instruction manual here as well. Once you've downloaded the software, you just have to install it. On Windows, it came up with a warning because it was an unknown publisher. And I had to click more info before it would allow me to proceed anyway. This was originally designed to protect you from dodgy software. But it's become more about who's willing to pay Microsoft to be put on their database. So in this instance, I know it's safe and I've also been running this software for quite a time now. When you run the application for the first time, on the home page is just the Donna B1 and the product manager. To add the Arena 2000, simply click on the product manager and then click on the Arena 2000 and the necessary components will be downloaded. Once the installation is complete, it will prompt you to either unplug and replug the USB lead or just plug it in. Once you've plugged in the USB lead, an icon for the Arena 2000 will appear on the product page. And once it's initialized and ready to use, a little green tick will appear in the top right hand corner of the icon. 
you can now click on the icon to be able to see and control all the parameters in the pedal. Now I've been using this Arena 2000 for a while so you can see on that list on the left hand side of the screen there's a few names that are my own. These are the names of some of the sounds I've made over the last couple of months and because of this I want to back up the system before I do the upgrade and that can be done through the file menu and it says back up. And it literally just took a couple of seconds to do. Now from the file menu again I can go to the upgrade firmware tab. Here you can see the version I've got is 1.1.0 and by clicking the check version box you can see the available version is 1.2.0 so I'll upgrade it. Am I sure I want to upgrade it? Yes. For this bit you need to be patient and if you've got a laptop you need to make sure you've got reasonable battery life in it because it can take up to about five minutes. In this case it actually took three minutes but I've speeded this bit up so you don't have to sit and watch the progress bar for the full three minutes like I did. While this is going on on your computer, the screen on the pedal goes off and the foot switch lights flash on and off to tell you that an upgrade is in progress. And when it's finished, it automatically reboots the pedal into the new version of the firmware. And that's it, done and dusted. To double check the version of firmware, you can turn off the pedal and turn it back on again. Or you can go back to the system and information menu to see that it's 1.2.0, which at the time of filming this video was the latest version. Potential issues. I know at least one person in the comments had this problem, and it's a problem I had. When I first did the update from version 1 to 1.1, somehow the USB lead got knocked out. So the upgrade wasn't allowed to complete, and for a while I thought the pedal was dead, because when I turned it off and turned it on again, the screen was completely blank and no lights came on. However, with a bit of experimentation, I found you could put the pedal back into upgrade mode without the computer and then you just go back into the computer and do the upgrade again. So to put the Arena 2000 into upgrade mode, before you turn it on, press down on the rotary encoder and then turn the unit on whilst your finger is still pressing down on the rotary encoder and the unit will go into upgrade mode. You can then go back into the software and start the upgrade again. When I did this it worked perfectly and solved the problem. Another strange random problem I once had was that my computer couldn't see the pedal. So I just left the pedal plugged into the computer but I turned it off for a few seconds and back on again and that solved the problem. If you still have a problem my suggestion is to go to Donna themselves because they have a very good support system and they do answer your emails. And that's it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it or at least found it useful. And if you did, please like it. Or if you want to see more of my videos, which are actually mainly guitar lessons, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon and then you'll be notified when I upload new ones. And if you do want to follow the lessons, at the moment I'm doing a fingerstyle course and you can get the PDFs that go along with the lessons completely free at www.ebooksforguitar.com And you can also find the video lessons there in order.
and on my YouTube channel in the playlists. Again, thank you very much for watching.